Hello again. So today I would like to play for you four pieces from a set of six canons for violin classes by Imogen Holst. Holst was the only child of Gustav Holst. She showed a musical talent at an early age and went on to study piano and violin at school and also began composing. She, like her father, went on to attend the Royal College of Music where she studied conducting and composition and won several prizes for her works. Following her graduation and a year of travelling in Europe, she took up various roles on her return to Britain. She was particularly keen on folk music and was involved in the English Folk Dance and Song Society, both in teaching duties as well as arranging traditional folk melodies. Following her father's death in 1934, Holtz decided she wanted to protect and document her father's legacy. She wrote his biography and a number of other books about his works. But teaching was where she seemed most passionate. She was offered a position at Dartington Hall in Devon, a country estate that is the base for a variety of arts and educational retreats. She designed courses in organising musical events as well as a broader musical education. Although her teaching style was seen by some as unusual, her method of learning by doing without formal examinations quickly gained acceptance and respect. While at Dartington, she resumed serious composition. This suite of pieces was composed in 1946 and comes from this period of prolific writing. Around this time, she also met the composer Benjamin Britten, who had traveled to Dartington to give a recital. Like Gustav Holst, Britten was a champion of neglected folk and ancient music, and this led to a friendship and respect between Britten and Imogen Holst. In later years, Holst moved to Alderborough to help Britten edit and prepare his scores, and also to develop the Alderborough Music Festival. Imogen Holst's impact on 20th century British classical music is often overlooked, and much of her compositions are unpublished and unperformed. Indeed, the first recording dedicated to her work was only issued in 2009. The work I will play for you was written for violin classes with a range of abilities. It allows the least experienced players to take part along with more experienced players who have some technically difficult passages. Unlike a traditional canon where players start playing at set intervals, all players start and end at the same time. The music is arranged in eight separate lines and different players play the lines in different orders. Although this is a simple concept, it leads to some wonderful and imaginative harmonies, sometimes modern in style and at other times medieval. I think these are fantastic compositions and have merit beyond their purely pedagogical intent. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> 